Is that mean it started? Yep, you're good. All right, awesome. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming. I'm here to teach you today how to build your own virtual world using Agora. So when you have it downloaded or using our web version, you will come to a screen that allows you to do a few things. Join, create my events, or quit the app. I suggest not doing that one just yet. But if you click create, that's where you'll end up on a marketplace where you're going to see a bunch of official worlds that our team has created. My worlds, if you've uploaded your own, and very soon you'll start seeing some community worlds that will let you choose from other creators that are developing their own spaces. You can scroll so you can find more options depending on what's available. But let's start with a art gallery here, right? So it tells you a little bit about it, the artist itself. Let's select that. From there, you can customize your event code. Let's call this art gallery. You're able to name your event, Ethan's gallery and give it a description come check out my amazing artwork. My artwork is much less than amazing though. And then give it some tags, art, gallery, fun, explore, et cetera, et cetera. And then depending on how large your event is, over 40 people or less, I suggest turning it on so that you can have more than 40 people. But once you get to this space, you'll see that it is associated with an actual template for the world. There are no booths in this world. There are only image slots. So as you'll see here, if I want to put something in slot zero, slot 40, let's go with slot 40s because it's right front and center. I go to add the image. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, load. Right. I decide to put up, spit loading. Sweet. An image here. It's Sky's info, co founder of Agora. Put a link if you wanted to link out, right? So I could do HTTPS www.agoravr.world for our website. Press save and create and publish. From there, I can go to my events to view other events I've created or just join. Let's just say we want to join this experience. You hop right on in. And what you'll see is that the image that you placed into the world will actually be in that exact location, right? Same image that we just put up. If I click on it, it will open in my browser directly to that space and onto that website itself. Now, the best part is, is that this is ever customizable. So let's leave the room here. Let's go back to this page, right? And now the question is, how do I go and I, how do I edit this again, right? So now in order to re-edit it, you go to a page that's my events. And what you'll find here is that it's going to allow you to see all of the different events that you've created today. Mine takes a while because I've got too many that I've created. Um, yours will be much quicker than mine is. But once this decides to load, you'll see all of the events that you've built, as well as events that you've explored. There's a bunch of other people in our community that have created their own spaces. So if I go back to this art gallery, right, I mean, the art gallery, I can join it, edit, or delete. I highly suggest not deleting it. If you click this button, it will literally delete it forever. No recovery, you do not save your data. But if I go to edit it, I click that button, you'll see I already have my world selected. So you do not need to choose a new one if you do not wish. Click next, all my stuff is saved. And I'm back on this screen where I'm able to continue customizing and editing space. So it's really easy. You can continue to work on it as you wish. You can even save it as a draft, you just work on it later so it's not public. Um, but that, that's ultimately how all of it works. And you can even join it by just going here and typing in your code and it will open up directly into your space. Make it really easy for you and your community to explore it together. Uh, 